Ooh. Oh, it's, it's like I'm really playing Tabletop Simulator. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't need the fidget spinner. You just give me things to mess with. Alright, let's check Cocker and see what happened. Ex-member of boy band Youth Sector killed in an airplane crash. Fans demand an explanation. Tragedy strikes as the Sun County Regional Football Team loses their central player in a plane crash. Fatal air crash caused by a series of malfunctions. Orange is injured during latest match against the Magus. Orange is revealed to be the host of the sixth place hit podcast Creed Comrades. Are they a Russian Orthodox podcast? Are they a Russian wrestler? Huh. I kind of, I kind of thought it was going to be the other way around, like something was going to, like he might quit podcasting and go like WWE or something. Um, not that like his uh, wrestling persona would be outed as a podcaster. Also, they seem to be doing a lot of plane crashes. I don't know if this is like just how the game usually decides it, or if like because of one of our decisions there's a lot of airplane issues and so therefore a lot of the deaths are happening from an airplane vibe let's see our rules for today morning Grim. good you're paying attention after all you cannot allow workers to doze off or become complacent else mistakes may sneak into the workflow pipeline for the day. Two humans die. Spare anyone with a science background. I hope you're enjoying the routine. Thank you. Alright, so science live. And we have to kill two. And we have six. Alright. I also love this like I'm no pixel artist, but like this kind of grayscale little pixel portrait thing that's going on. That's pretty nice. It definitely always astounds me how much detail um, people who work in pixel art can impart with, you know, just a couple tiny squares. The, uh, the human, sort of like taking advantage of the human eye and how we kind of blur things and humans' natural uh, predisposition towards uh, pattern matching. Also, yeah, yeah, pixel, pixel art is fucking black magic sometimes. Like, a lot of the old games, like the old, like, 8-bit or 16-bit games, if you, like, zoom in on, like, the pixelated character, it makes no fucking sense. But whenever it's zoomed out to those low, those resolutions of the game, you know, it's like, oh yeah, of course, it's that character. It's very easy to see. I just cannot wrap my brain around it. It's like those, um, magic eye puzzles. Let's see what we got. We got Benjamin Avery. 45 Naples Cavalry. Benjamin, hailing from a long line of army veterans, decided to join the Navy, much to the chagrin of the rest of their family. Yet soon enough, they found themselves as the altogether responsible and distinguished captain of a massive aircraft carrier called the Audacious. I don't think... Wait a minute. Hold on. No, wait. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot. For the Navy, a captain is an 06. Whereas for all the other branches, it's an 03. Basically, middle management tier. 
um, versus junior management tier. Which makes things very, very funny in uh, a joint military environment because you get someone um, bitching, uh, bitching on the phone and they can be like, all right, I'll get my captain and it's some, some uh, major, which is between, uh, which is like an 05. Um, oh yeah, all right, I'll fucking talk to your captain. And it's like, oh, Navy captain. Oh, um, I'm, oh, I'm sorry, sir. No, no, sir, this is no problem. Sorry, sorry for wasting your time. Nicholas Zhao, 43 spy. <laughs> See, if I had to file my own, my own thing, I would certainly make up like a really cool position. As long as I didn't have to like provide references. Nicholas was sent to the Cosmopolis City from a rival county to learn national secrets. And nobody suspects them because they're a well-integrated sleeper agent. The success of the mis their mission could prove catastrophic. They've built a family for cover, although Nicholas has become increasingly attached to them. I feel like this is a movie reference. For a second, I thought this might be a um, Nicholas Cage joke, you know, National Secrets, National Treasure. But the family part Hmm. I can't really remember too many spy movie thrillers other than, like, the Bourne series. It's only because I ended up rewatching all of it. Mostly for a podcast about shit-talking it. Um... Shit, what was that podcast name? Because I, I I would recommend it. Um, uh, Kill James Bond. Right. Because they, they went through all of the old James Bond movies from oldest to newest. And then uh, once they exhausted all of those, um, they started branching out into some other um, spy-themed esque things. And it's a three-person podcast of... Um, Two, two trans and a lesbian, and it's mostly talking about. They have they have the great uh, scum system that they they rate every movie on. Um, uh, Smarm. Uh, oh, I forget what C is. Um, un like unwarranted violence and. Um, Misogyny. Oh, it's gonna bug me until I remember what C is. Uh, let's see. Carrie Haven, 32, botanist. Gardening is Carrie's favorite pastime, and also their line of work. They enjoy growing edible exotic plants and experimenting with different recipes. They are also an expert in natural poison. Well, I was going to say they're a, uh, a weed grower, but maybe it's more like a nightshade grower? Interesting. Hold on. Science background. Um, pretty sure botany's a science. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. You have my attention, Zara Sal. 38... Asteroid Hunter? Asteroid Hunter? Eh? What began as a constant stargazing as a child turned into a career in astronomy. Zara's main goal is to find asteroids that could potentially hit the planet and alert the Asteroid Destroyer Unit in the military. <laughs> Alright, you live. That's an easy one. Lillian Kur, 39, climate scientist. Lillian hails from a small village on the coast where they spent their early years studying ichthyology. 
This later inspired them to turn their attention towards global matters. To the multid... multid... multidunious interrelated networks that make up our planet. Huh. Ichthyology. I wonder if this is, like, climate specific to um, areas of the coast, perhaps? I, I actually know a weather person. They could correct me. <laughs> and probably spend hours in paragraphs talking about uh, meteorology and climate. Oh, it's the study of fish? Ah. I see. I see. You know what? That does make sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish certainly are extremely impacted by global... Um, global water global systems you know all the the stuff in our water that gets washed out to the oceans and the sea absolutely has an effect on marine life and then our last person merle ursa 32 game designer artist oh, i think this is our first person to have a slash they have they have two positions Ooh. merle has been trying to make the greatest game for a while now to find inspiration, and because they love traveling, they attend a diverse range of gaming events, conventions, and conferences. It's really just a specific type of tourism. Merle also enjoys marathon running. Do they... Do they run between each of these? That, that would actually be pretty impressive. <laughs> um... Alright. Um... I feel like botany is is definitely going to come up as a science. I can't remember 100% if it's yeah, yeah, it's got it's got to count. Besides, I I'm sure the being an expert in natural poisons is just innocuous. You know, it's a just a brief mention that won't matter at all whatsoever. Um I need two die so only one more can live so we have the naval captain the spy and the artist um well we have two people working for the state we have one person being a creative even if i feel like you know trying to create the greatest game that's it feels like an extremely egotistical kind of uh, goal but still better than a spy wait a minute I can draw I can use the marker <laughs> <laughs> you fool! You fool! You need to draw must. Uh, all right, that guy already has facial hair. Wait, what happens if I do live and die? No, I can't. Okay. Can I use? Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me see if there's anything else I can draw on the marker. Um. Okay, no. Marker is behind the phone. Nope. Okay, so it's just the just the papers, it seems like. Okay. Let's submit our faxes. Just the facts. Why is there a cloud? Hold on. What the fuck? Knock knock. That's Who's there? Exactly the question, ain't it? Is that my conscience? Nothing to lose, I'm afraid. 
You might be gaining something instead. Who are we you? are the exalted Chimera, envied by all the blind, arrogant fools. We are Angst Ex Milio. We are nothing. A despicable failure. We are Elan Vital, the guide who won't lead astray. If only you learn to listen. We are death. How does it feel? Well, I would say it feels pretty lit. <laughs> what does it feel? I don't understand. Uh, feels fine. I don't have time for this, whatever it is. How about you just leave me alone? Uh, I'm certainly feeling you know, the first one. Dying. You do remember, right? No, I was summoned. You, Reaver. It's a grim world out there. Are you telling me fate lied to me? That he did not summon me with lemons, eyes, and uh, leaves? Yeah, that was a, it was a mortar and pestle for that third thing. Interesting. The what plot thickens. Grim. What a day. Let us go over your conduct first. Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Anyway, Grim, five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? I didn't like it at first, but I've grown to enjoy it. Eh, a job like any other. Honestly, I feel like I'm not killing enough people. I crave more. More murder. I still feel awful about every choice. Every moment is living hell. I hate this job. Uh, yeah, I feel pretty bad. Perhaps that is for the best. It may keep you connected to the world, holding off the indifference. But think of the humans. Do you huh. think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Holding off the indifference. I wonder if that's why fate is not the one deciding. I wonder if, like, fate being immortal has lived for so long, they're just numb and they've become so detached from deciding who should live or die that they have, they are no longer able to comprehend, like, greater impacts between like any one life compared to another and perhaps that's why there is the existence of the grim reapers as a layer so like fate gets these possibilities and then he's sending it down to his grims and they're an element of balance an element of chaos perhaps oh, ah, ah, i'll stretch all right Ugh. Uh, a noodle in a round, a noodle to the left, a noodle to the right, a noodle up, and a noodle down. And we shake it all about. And some hydration. <sighs> tasty, tasty water. Um, what other office is there? Is there another way? Perhaps I... Um, no, never mind. I have not found a way around the tradition. And I have been here a long time. Ooh. This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans. Do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? Ooh. Ooh, now we're getting ooh. Did not expect this question. You hand out the rules and make me do the choices. Can't worry too much if this is what it has to be done. I'm not happy about the situation, no. Hmm. Certainly yeah, not happy no about the opportunity situation. to elicit a change. It may sound unfair, but it is not. 
The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies. We know what we are doing. Wait, is that why all the deaths are plane crashes? Because they're like, all right, the most efficient way to get the right number of people dead is we crash an airplane into it. We need to get rid of this footballer, crash an airplane. We need to get rid of this Navy captain, crash an airplane. We need to get rid of this airplane pilot, believe it or not, crash an airplane into another airplane. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? That's a weird question. What's the basis for the profiles? Is there a points system? Why do all the profiles refer to people as they? Not really. Oh, <clears throat> not at all. Do they all influence the world in many ways? The humans can't actually affect anything? You don't sound too sure about that. Okay then. Um, I am, quite so. Is it predetermined? What about free will? Humans have some free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet what matters is that they cannot escape the inevitable. The life-threatening situations that inevitable. bring them onto your desk. A result of their own deeds and decisions. Then there are some highly complex calculations, factors and aspects that influence the situation. But that is just a bit over your pay grade, so do not worry about it. I like to imagine the highly complex calculations, factors, and aspects that influence the situation. It's just some guy, like, rolling a d20. It's like... Well, that's below 15. They, uh, they're going into the pile. Oh, I got, a, I got a critical on this one. They definitely get to live. Ooh, nap one. Well, they get fast-tracked for death. Anything else? Why do all profiles refer to people as they? I'm curious An what the game's going to say. You see, our office does not operate on information about biological backgrounds or genetic composition. Minimal. Everyone you assess is simply human, after all. Excluding any monumental error in normal procedure. The bottom line is that the humans end up on your desk and that you must follow the rules. Anything else? I, yeah, I don't want to push that other question. Enlightening. I bid you a good night. I do think it is. Tomorrow. That's a nice little call out phrasing when it comes to gender. All right. Have you seen such deals before? Tis ye who plunders me. Plague mask. Ah, shit, we can't afford it. Um, hmm, we can't afford anything. All right, let's see our new items. Uh, ephemeral, ephemeral mortality. A coin, the thing which usually makes up the largest portion of any buried treasure. Thranody. Thranody to desolation? That's, that's a weird word. Peculiar flex twirl disquietingly inside this glass globe, never settling. In the middle of the storm stand figures too difficult to discern. Everything seems to be in a state of constant transfiguration. Huh. Alright. Well, I guess let's... Is there anything in the mirror? No. Maybe it's just when there's a cloud. Alright. Another day of work. Let's store our money real quick. Spawn mail. Morning grim. We seem to be on the precipice of dark times. I may have warned you that this job can have some harsh moments. Today is that day. Six humans have to die. Two 35 or younger. 
any with a medical background have to die. This is very serious fate. Fuck. That's a that's a red letter day. Oh man. Alright. Let's see what Cocker has for us. Municipal gardener barely survives accidental self-poisoning. Alright. Looks like she's not an assassin, she just was uh a bit clumsy. There may be hope for our planet yet. Scientists on the verge of a bait breakthrough that may help with the dwindling fish population. Alright, that's good. Oh, the irony. Artist survives getting mauled by a bear while on the run. How is that irony? Is there some famous artist that died getting mauled by a bear? Local man dead of poisoning. Intelligence agencies suspect espionage activity. Yeah. Aircraft carrier sunk by unknown forces near the Strait of Lafayette. Ooh, that's not so good. Our small town prodigy moves to the city. We say, reach for the stars. Scientists very close to figure out how to counter a dangerous pathogen. Um, did this release near in COVID times? Hmm. Big asteroid alert. It's coming right for us. <laughs> okay, we have, holy shit, we have eight. Um, well, fuck. Medical background. 2018? Huh. Okay. Well, in that case, it becomes uh, kind of grimly prescient. So, immunologist, they must die, but... Ye Hama, 48. The past 15 years, Ye has spent every day working in a windowless concrete bunker, testing various vaccines in order to eradicate some of the deadliest diseases in the world. During off times, they enjoy lengthy bike rides. Hmm. Well, shit. Couldn't hurt to let them live. What's... Hmm. I mean, one shouldn't be too bad. It's just, it's just, a, it's just, just a drop. Um, actually, hold on. Let me check ages real quick, because I need to get two thirty or five or younger. Okay, so of these four, two of them need to die. So let's let's, let's start with this. We can we can narrow things down. Aliyah Fokana, 27, photojournalist. Ooh. Aliyah used to be a war correspondent. Okay. Nowadays, most of their time is spent researching for feel good stories. I mean, very fair. They recently got hired to The Daily Clarion, where the editor in chief tasked them with identifying a peculiar vigilante of sorts. Who keeps running around the city in a manatee themed costume? <laughs> oh! I need pictures! Pictures of Manatee Man! He's flopping from building to building, stopping bank robbers and all sorts of nefarious crooks. Did you ever think Manatee Man is in cahoots with them? <laughs> Anais May Ortega, 33, dentist. Anais claims a dog ate their diploma and everyone just has to believe that they're an actual dentist. To look like they know what they're doing, Anais just- Oh, no. Nope. 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 That's an easy choice. Let's- let's forget that person. let's forget that exists. 
Tamao Hidaka. Hid Hid oh, no, I cannot pronounce that. My my Angloness is is flapping in the wind. Thirty one astronaut. Inspired by playing Space Intruder a lot as a kid, Tamao decided to join the Earth Defense Unit as an astronaut. A dangerous asteroid has been located for the first time after their training, and he must now land on its surface and blow it up. Is this a reference to that one asteroid movie that I think has, like, Bruce Willis in it or something? Where they have to land on the asteroid and blow it up. Blow it in half so it will graze off of the Earth's atmosphere and not extinction everything. For a second, I thought he was a reference to... Um, there's a beautiful kind of slice of lifey manga called Space Brothers, I want to say. Um, it is very wholesome and a beautiful story of, of a guy wanting to... I, I believe his older brother... It, I, I think it was his older brother and him kind of made a pact to become astronauts and go into space and I want to say like um, I don't know if it's like his, I can't remember because it's been so long since I, I checked it out I, I really should go back to it I want to say his older brother um, like the younger brother got held back for some reason like he, he wasn't able to pass a test yeah, yeah, like one of them got ahead of the other for some reason, and then the other one's trying to catch up, but hashtag life happens. Um, definitely, definitely a, a series. Now that I remember it, I, re I really do want to go back and catch up on it. Let's see. So these two seem good, so I hope. Annabelle is as bad as the dentist. Annabelle Tells, 20, student. Annabelle has devoted themselves to becoming either an astrophysicist or an astronaut. The two things are somewhat related. They also enjoy painting, mostly nudes, computer programming, and volleyball. At 20, holy sh Annabelle Tells sounds like a badass person to uh, know. Hell yeah. I don't think I've ever seen the anime, to be honest. I think back when, like, I used to be a lot more in reading manga. I, I fell off of it when the major site I was using uh, stopped hosting. Because I also remember, like, I was following, like, terra, terraform, Terraformers. Or is it Terra for Mars? The one with the bugs and the superpower things. That's so ridiculously extra. Not not bugs. Cockroaches, specifically. And then the, the astronauts being spliced with various bugs to give them superpowers. <laughs> this series is ridiculous. Um... Fuck, I really do not want to kill Annabelle. Annabelle seems like a really cool person. Mm. I feel it'd be so grim to kill the war ex-war correspondent. But also it might be dangerous to kill an astronaut poised to go to uh, the astronaut that was detected. Mm, oh, shit. Actually, six humans. One, two, three, four. Oh, I have to kill two. Ah, shit. Oh, man. I have to kill two. 
because I have eight. Six halves of Oh shit. I can only have two lives. Hmm. Alright. I'm. Let's go through the, the other three profiles. Since we only have one more live to give out anyway. Emiko Iwa Iwaka. Awaka? 79, retired. Emiko worked hard their whole life. But when retirement knocked, they switched to full, full fun and games mode. These days, they spend some of their time taking care of their garden, but most of their time playing team-based online multiplayer shooters? Damn! Grandma's cracked! Call an ambulance, but not for me! And we've got two pretty cool people in this stack of cards. Glory Magnussen Halberd. What is that name? Um, when still in their early twenty, whoop. When still in their early twenties. Glory harbored some edgy and extreme views on society, and the world in general, up until the point they grew up and calmed down, readjusting their innate interest on societal issues to bring greater knowledge of history and the myriad structures that affect our lives. Alright. Yes. Yeah. You lost me in the first half, but you got me, you got me back on the second one. A D and D paladin named Glory. I mean, there is the band uh, Glory Hammer, <laughs> or is that no? No way. Maybe maybe it's a song titled Glory Hammer. Drecky, another mental note. Go through your go through your go through your music. Um, and then we have a Lissa Markovic, 47, housekeeper. Lissa loves to engage in gossip. They have a binder full of information about the people living in the house they work at, and a separate binder for all the people who visit. Most of the information is sensitive and used to blackmail the wealthy, and they do it all for their children. I mean, at least they're doing the Robin Hood thing. But like... Actually, hold on. Any humans with medical background? I'm pretty sure astronauts get medical training. I feel like I might have to kill... Man, this, uh, making the immunologist live is biting me in the ass, I guess. <laughs> Trust me, I'm from the future. You don't understand. You're gonna need her. You're gonna need them. Alright, um... We get it, you have a small dick and need to compensate, jeez. No need to rev your engines, people. We all hear it. <clears throat> They're certainly not making the decisions easy. I feel like I'm definitely gonna have to go die on him. Because I, I just don't know enough if they're going to count an astronaut for medical background. And I'm already taking one to save the immunologist. 
Um, <sighs> sorry, Annabelle. Sorry, Aaliyah. Sorry, Yumiko. Sorry, Lisa. I'm gonna... We're gonna give our second live to glory. Alright, let's fax him. Oop. Yep. Oh, boy. Are we gonna get paid today? I don't think we are. Ah, Grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. New recruits often falter during dark time. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? I was built for dark times. There was a lot to do, but I worked it all out. Bad. I did what I had to. Doesn't mean I like it. Exactly. You and I are on the same page. We all do what is necessary. Even if it makes us suffer. How are you suffering? Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Don't you know what happened? You're in charge, after all. Some sort of medical calamity, maybe. Like an epidemic? Made in 2018, huh? Beats me. Day like any other. Don't really care. Death is death. I know it was bad. That's what matters. Interesting. An insightful streak may yet rattle inside that skull of yours. Hmm? Off you go now, Grim. Good night. So wait, are we still getting paid? Hey! Interesting. So, we got the numbers right. Good patron, me ship of goods is at your service. Even if we didn't follow... Oh, release in 2020, but awards in 2018. Huh. Yeah, maybe maybe it was an early access in 2018 or something. All right. Cactus. Cactus, the most brutal of plants. Not true. Ooh, um... So, it's the weekend, so we can actually go to the bar. So, I, while I would love to get the cactus, I kind of want to just get the um, radio. So I have some money in case I can buy drinks or something in the bar. Shiver me timbers. Tis a tale most sordid. I dare not even recall the details. But since you wish to hear it. Oh, since you insist. <laughs> there I was, scouting some rickety office building downtown, and I saw this in an elevator. Went in, tore it out, and made a run for it. <laughs> the device has immense power. Ye turn the knob, and infinite pleasant noises come from it. Some might even call it music. Everyone would call it music. All right, let's check out the bar. <laughs> so you wanna be a grim idiot? <laughs> Pro Patrol, Fallen Riders. So this this is the only poster reference I get. I'm not Quartermaster of Mortimer's Plunder Emporium. Pro Patrol, Fallen Murders. Thinking with mortals. 
fate is a lie. Employee of the month, Reaper 667. <laughs> Alright. Um, uh, bartender, what you got? Hello? Hello there. I'm Sari, and I welcome you to Cerberus' Den, the finest drinking establishment this side of the void. <laughs> Alright, Sari. I sure as heck haven't seen you before. You must be brand new. Maybe you just dapper like the River Acheron. The Abbot screams vintage. Hey. So, how are you liking existence thus far? Feels pretty good to be alive, in a sense. It sucks. I kind of hate it here. Lots of tedious paperwork so far. Yep. Oh, don't I know it. Administrative bureaucracy just can't be escaped. I'll always find you. Eventually. But hey, that's why you figure out the small cracks in the system you can manipulate. Huh? Okay, newbie, before we continue, I got this little. Uh, Ooh, what game little game? I play with every fresh faced Do you want to play a game, and... Siri? All you gotta do is answer a series of questions, and I'll craft a personalized drink inspired by what you said. It's like a quiz. What is this, uh, Jackbox? Uh, her voice is suddenly reminding me of the, uh, um, the, the five player science pellets game. I think it's Jackbox 7. Hmm. I love quizzes. Not sure about this. Fun and games? It's so not my style. Nah, I love quizzes. Right, <clears throat> the gist. Describes in sort of an odd situation, and you answer how you react. And I usually do four questions, and nothing else to it. All right. Here we go. Prepare for question number one. Your friends got in deep trouble with the boss of a local criminal organization. Now a team of brutes are coming all for right. you all. All right. All right. If you work together, you may be able to figure out this situation. What will you do? <laughs> Destroy your friends. They're useless. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'll help my friends. You see a turtle laying on its back, belly, baking in the scorching sun. Aww. It beats its legs, trying to flip over, but it can't. Aww. Not the little turtle, bro. Are not helping. Why aren't you helping? I like my turtle well done. Nah. Next up, no. Question three. No. No. I didn't mean to click. I hope that was the answer I would have wanted to pick because I wanted to help the turtle. Before you lies a table teeming with plants. You have to eat one of the plants. Your very life depends on it. What okay. kind of plant would you prefer to eat? <laughs> Maybe like two sequoias. Holy shit! No, we're going with mushrooms. Oh hell yeah. I'll eat some mushrooms. As I said, I love me some mushrooms. Ever needs, right? On a stroll around the local forest, you happen upon an unfamiliar animal. Their leg is trapped in a devious trap and is bleeding profusely. Okay. The beast will likely not survive for long. How will you react? Will rate the animal for being dumb. That's so stupid. Oh, this reminds me of that meme of a of a guy. Uh, going to like the uh, going to the Venus flytrap and he's like, they're so stupid. How could they ever get trapped like that? And then like the last frame is them in some kind of uh, Skinner machine situation. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of uh, human human psychological traps. So there, there's a lot of variations on it. Don't interfere in the natural order of things. Draw your scythe and swiftly slay the beast. Um. Yeah, I would. I mean, of my options, yeah, I'll put it out of its misery. It. Let me just calculate the results. to stability, prone to conformity, 
Mm-hmm. I've got the appropriate concoction in mind. Oh, no. Start off with a nice mixture of four centiliters of gin, one centiliter of elderflower liqueur, one centiliter I'm of sugar. I'm boring. Syrup, two deciliters of club soda. Flash in some lime juice concentrate, add several slices of well smashed cucumber and some fruit ice. I feel like this is an actual drink, but I'm no mixologist and would not be able to name it off. Although the fact that it has gin, I it might be a drink I would order. So I'm, I'm usually part. I'm usually fine with gin mixed drinks. It's usually like <sighs> tequila's never never been good with me. Like of the clear alcohols, I I never never really get tequila. I'm pleased with this result. I have no idea what to think of this. I'm not sure this is correct. <laughs> the quiz tells no lie. I think a suitable name would be... Borehole? Wow. On the house. Rude. Goodbass. Goodbass. Glottle. How dare you. I'm already being ganged up on with... Every time Duke stops by, or Ray, and now you're getting into eating me too? Just you wait. Just you wait. I was given a little brain worm. I'll have my revenge. <laughs> the drink. Smooth waves rolling onto the coast, then receding gradually. A constant rhythm of symmetrical alternation, grinding off the edges. The taste recalls a harmonious interplay of physical forces, soothing a turbulent soul, until all that's left is a polished plane of alabaster. It's almost a death-changing experience. Ah, that's Have fairly decent. Understatement of the century. Now, what else can I get you? Uh, tip jar's pretty neat. Mortimer found the original oinker on an excursion to the Shrouded Zones. It's a bit of a hassle, though. It keeps multiplying all the time. Take your eye off for a second and bam, tiny piglets everywhere. <laughs> piglets oh, everywhere! Just make sure you feed it with some coins once in a while. Wait, is it like a living piggy bank? Huh. Heck, were I able to count and name all the folks? Likely haven't fully realized the size of this place. You've got you reapers and all the myriad departments, the custodian legion, <laughs> custodian legion, the data grinders, <laughs> the calculatorium, the abysmal archive with its archivists, cadaver resources. They're just plain odd, but someone's got to deal with the internal issues. Instead of human, I see. I see what you did there. All right, I see it. Very clever. Middle management. Nobody knows what they actually do. Higher management, but they don't visit us basically ever. Same with fate. Many of the regular workers come by the den, though, so keep your eyes and ears open. Wait, so where does... is Fate, like, the CEO tier? What else you got? Or is he... Huh. Or are they just saying people get promoted to middle and higher management, but, like... It's, it's a situation where they're decommissioned, and you never hear from them again, because they're... <coughs> b busy! Yeah. Busy. Au revoir, little reaper. I guess, uh, Siri likes her Francois. Of which I know bugger all. Alright. So I know she mentioned her tip jar that's a pig, but I don't... I don't see it to interact with it. Arrowcades are not having me spin around, so maybe maybe that's just uh maybe the bar changes. And uh, we got a spooky gut, spooky Gus. What you got for me, Gus? The air is eerily cold, as if frozen in place, too scared to move an inch. Hi. Yeah. What? What do you want? 
I know. Fresh faced lemon head. <sighs> exactly what I wanted to see today. Wait, we're all summoned with lemons? I thought I was special. Hey now, Gus, play nice. Well, seems I'm stuck with you now. You want to ask questions or something? Yeah, what do you do I'm here? The janitor. I clean up the damn mess you make. What mess? Have you looked in the mirror or thought about the clientele of this place? Where do you think oh. the drink goes? None of you have a stomach. <laughs> Anything you consume will <laughs> your page Okay, okay, the, de the devs did think of everything. Like, you just had a drink. You are a skeleton. <laughs> Why do they even have a bar? <laughs> alright, alright. Oh, I didn't think about that. Ever do. Always self absorbed. Or could be at least a little more considerate. G. Uh, yeah, always, always appreciate the uh, the uh, service people who clean or serve you food. Eh, something else you wanted? Simple. I float around and I possess stuff and make the stuff float into the trash bin. I mean, at least it keeps your hands clean. Like dust, for example, one dust particle at a time, or the drinks, one oh. chocolate at a time. Isn't that tedious? A bit tedious yeah. Ah. As if the highest management ever gave any thought to us lowly drones. We're all nameless custodians and spawns to them, literally. I've got a name. Well, that just seems like a really rude thing to follow. Wait a minute, wait. He has the name Gus. Hold on a second. Um, none of these options are really what I would like to say, so, uh... Let's go oh, kind sure, of the perennial office needs constant supervision. <laughs> Not like they actually do anything. Eh, something else you wanted? Sari, they're hella cool. Yeah, yeah, Sari is pretty cool. Thank you. You're nothing but a sweetheart, ain't ya? Ain't nothing but a hound dog. Ah, shucks. You're the only one who truly treats Gus with respect. What's that supposed to mean? Are you the ghost of a profile I marked to death? Why huh. does everyone think ghosts are dead humans? So you're not human? Of not. No, no. Ghosts aren't mere residue, a relic of humans, animals, or whatever other entities. We're just ghosts. We're beings unto ourselves. Huh. So I guess we technically have multi spirits. Of a ghost. Wait. Yeah, pretty much. You're a ghost, and then you died. How do you think? I ghosted around a long while, doing my ghost business, and then one day, I died. <laughs> so you have you have like a haunted house, and then. And then they, they have a, they, they trip down the ghost stairs and ghosts die and then become ghost undead in the ghost afterlife. <laughs> I know what you're thinking now and yeah, there is a ghost apartment. Northeasterly direction down on floor 133. Yep. Not too busy yep. over at Geist Hall though. Ghosts don't die that often. Comes to the territory. Yeah, they're hard, hard to kill. Noted. Eh, something else you. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get back to work anyway. Yeah, fortunately, uh, it's pretty easy to get past them. Eh? No. Alright. Uh, hold on. Me. Let's switch up our appearance. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna go with uh, vibrant. Where's that? 
Yeah, there we go. We got so we got a splash of color now. It's the weekend. We gotta get our party outfit. Rinaldo Pep. To not to be. That is the question. Hold on, get these profiles out of my way. I have a piggy. It oints! It oints! Hold on, what if I give it a coin? Amazing. Anyway. 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 Let's check, um... Let's check our... University mourns as grim epidemic claims the life of a promising student. New vaccine that could save countless of lives nearing completion. Nation's wealthiest prosecuted as damning information surfaces at the house of a dead housekeeper. Well, at least something good happened, um, even though she also passed. Her blackmail did not go unused in vain. Most of Asteroid blown off course. A small piece still impacts the ocean. That's still very bad. Like, giant tsunamis can still uh, be pretty dangerous off a large enough asteroid impact. I don't want to fall asleep. Last words heard from hero astronaut who blew up Asteroid. Nation more. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. So we basically, we basically decided if he got back from the asteroid mission alive or not. Oh, fuck. Me too. Welcome to Our History, a new series on the structures behind the shifts and changes of societies. All right, you guys, you guys, starting a uh, starting a nice uh, podcast YouTube series. Those are always fun. Uh, yeah, that. Mm. I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting a gut punch out of my field. Uh. Okay. Um. Oh, right. Our radio. Oh, hell yeah. We can change up the music now. All right, okay, okay. Stretch, stretch and a hydrate, all right. I'm actually going to uh, stretch the hammies. Uh, forward. Backward. Sideward. Sideward. Ah. Uh. Forward, because tracking got lost, and hydration. I can hydrate. I can hydrate if I want to. If my friends don't hydrate well, then they ain't no friends of mine. Mm. Me I gotta say, the music in this game, I'm loving it. Like, even though I can only just now, like, actually change the song that's been playing, the the starting song was very soothing. Morning, Grim. Okay, see if we can clean up the mess from yesterday. I might give you just the boost you need. Do not forget, you may leave troubles behind. But new ones always lie ahead. Two humans have to die. Spare humans who seem to be helpful against the troubles. Keep vigilant. They... Wait a minute. Humans who are helpful against the troubles. Okay, so... All British have to die for sure. Um... If anyone is... What is it? Was it Venezuelan? I remember there was... 
There was some person who brought a huge shipment of foodstuffs to... Wait, no, I'm thinking I'm mixing things up. I'm mixing up the, uh, the troubles with the potato famine. Actually, no. Potato famine is not the right term. The, uh, the British genocide. Oh, hey, Kassara! Welcome on by! Yeah! That's some jamming! Alright, so... We only have to kill two. We have a lot of peoples. So we can save four. Alright, so... This is going to be much easier. Alright, we need to make some room on our desk. I hope you're having a great night. We're just doing a bunch of... Calculations of life and death. And jams. Alright. Albert David Gok. Gok? 54. Corrupt CEO. <laughs> no problem, Glottal. I appreciate you stopping on by. Albert is an incredible human being. As in, never in all history has there been anyone who has destroyed so many human and social systems with such nihilism and greed. They will stop at nothing in their quest to squeeze out any short-term profit. Hey, so daily reminder, if you have Twitch Prime, you know you can get a free sub at any channel. And I would highly recommend, whether you're, you use it here or elsewhere, to take advantage of that every month. Because when you do, you basically are stealing money right out of Bezos' pocket. And ain't that the most ethical theft you can do? Brian Kalathin... Kalathinikos? Oh man. I should be able to say this better because I had some um, Eastern European co-workers at one time. So I got very used to like, um, like Polish last names, things with a lot of consonants and like odd to my English senses, um, letters together. Um, but this, yeah, I, my tongue, my tongue cannot, cannot wrap itself around that name. 31. Janitor. Raking leaves is hard. Blowing them around with a leaf blower is much more fun. This is why Brian takes care of the leaves exclusively with a leaf blower, starting already at 6 in the morning. The toxic fumes the machine admit, emits don't concern them one bit. <sighs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, that is kind of rough. Salom Albion, art forger. Salome started imitating famous artists as a hobby. Then they discovered their partner was selling the forgeries while telling their clients the artworks were real. Salome was furious at first, but due to financial difficulties, started going along with it. An original piece they're most proud of is an oil painting of a bullfinch. I feel like this is a reference to a well-known painting that may have had a big deal of a forgery. And like... I feel a little bit because they're just kind of... You know, it's, it's just a hobby. They aren't... They weren't trying to pass off someone's art as their own out the gate. They just wanted to paint things that, were, that have already been done. I feel like the nuance matters a lot on the financial difficulties because like if it's if it's like I don't know when you get down to the ethics of like starving people stealing food it's like is it really a fucking crime like come on here the 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 larger systems that put them in that situation 
have a greater share of blame. Um, honestly, I just... I just hate how a lot of art tends to be used f more for money, storage slash legal laundering rather than like, hey, I got this piece of art because I found it very moving or it means a lot to me or, you know, I commissioned this because this is something I wanted and I don't have the capability of doing it myself. Uh, things that I say would enrich human culture, um, which I think is, is the higher calling. I'm wondering if all of them are going to be like corrupt CEO and they're all going to be like easy kills, but maybe not. Rinaldo Peth, 52, morgue assistant. No one truly knows how the fall from grace of Rinaldo began. Once upon, they lived a heroic life, so it is said, but such grand deeds are now a thing of the past. Excuse me. These days, they work as a post-middle-aged assistant at a morgue. I mean, I would say, you know, if you live the life as a hero, um, it's not all, it's not all comic books and movies, like, to think there, there, there there's been some stories that have been really good as far as like uh, oh animorphs that, that's the one i was thinking of like yeah they're big damn heroes but they're fucking fighting a war they get ptsd like it's it's horrifying um so fucking retiring from being a hero to just be an assistant at a small, easy job. You know, I can't say easy. I don't. I don't actually know the the details of someone working in a morgue. I don't know if they might be actually working on the cadavers. That's probably actually hard work, like physically lifting and all that. But like, easier than like being traumatized. A check nor thirty lumberjack. A Czech co-owns a logging company where they work as a lumberjack. Although they comply with environmental regulations on paper, they occasionally clear protected habitats, quote-unquote, by mistake, destroying homes of thousands of endangered birds. Alright, dude, you can fuck off. Schlow -shib Shibster. Schlow Shibster. Shlo is extremely lazy and in a constant mood of discontent, yet no one truly knows why, as they talk very little. They also exhibit a lot of gluttonous behavior. I feel like this person is oddly characterized. I feel like the phrasing is disingenuous. I'm, I'm gonna go with live. Um, definitely live on them. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely curious as to how how much this game may be different depending on who I kill or let live, or how closely I follow the quotas. Because, you know, I, I, mess, I started messing up on the first couple days just to kind of see what happened. And then the other day, the previous day, um, I got the right number of live and kill, but I didn't exactly follow the guidance, unless it it was classifying immunology as not science, which would be weird, but okay. Um, I mean, we've already met our death quotas. So we don't 
have to kill these two? Hmm. I mean, honestly, my thing on this is more like you sh not raking leads at all so you can um, continue a, like, there's a, um, a lawn, like, housing, is it, is it sustainable lawns? I can't remember the term. The idea is to have a lawn or garden or something that can live without human maintenance. So if you got up, walked away, then the plants there are capable of thriving and surviving on their own. So it's a lot of like, you know, na pick native plants, um, pick a variety of stuff to entice local insects and birds and things like that. Um, and like part of that, I think is, is like, no one's raking leaves in the forest. Like all of those, all that detrius has a place in the cycle of maintaining and feeding everything. It's like, just don't rake at all. Although, of course, you know, the whole environmental I impact of the, the blower... I don't know. Is it is it worth him dying over? I mean... Not really. All right. We're done for today. Oink, 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 oink. Let's see how we did, boss. Ooh, we got a cloud again. That wasn't so good, was it? It's okay. We can figure it out, make it work. Crisp and clear like the azure pond at the forest glade. Yeah, I can do this. You were born for this. That's what fate keeps telling you, ain't it? It's like a surge in your spine. A faint echo of a perfect chord. It's very close, Grand Reaper. Be seeing you. Huh. I thought that voice was gonna be like some kind of entity that might be working against fate? Or... Maybe be like, hey, fate has another agenda you should be going for my agenda and we start having to make decisions hmm welcome grim it is the end of the week your performance review draws near how do you think you have been doing crushing it profiles come in i send them out clockwork dismal I hate everything about this job. I think I've managed to follow the rules. I'm just surprised I made it this far. Interesting. Eh, win some, win others. Yes. Your answer has been recorded for the psych eval. Wait, psych eval? Now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. Okay. I see the required profiles are all here. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. I guess it is time to get started. Hey, I want to ask about today. What about today? Today? Mm. Oh, everything seems to be getting better as we speak. Do not worry about it. Fixing the world is a slow process. So, keep at it. As so long they as you follow the rules, it will all cause a problem to get a lot of people killed and then immediately start to resolve it? Now. Where did huh. I put those papers? Ah, here we go. Right. Looking at these stats, the numbers say you have performed adequately. That's it? Yes, basically. Unfortunately, adequate is not enough for a raise. Oh, come on. You don't have you don't have like time time and service, you know, like yearly raises. Yeah, I'm going to take my ball and go home. <laughs> Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn 
and many rules to follow. It's been hard to get easier. This was an evaluation period for a reason. Things will oh, only shit. get more severe. As such, your seven-day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. Interesting. I was curious if the game is just like six or six, seven days. But I was certainly leaning against that considering there seemed to be a lot more content. Need ye cures for ailments or a trigger to ward off a curse? Unholy smokes. Ah, a visage which is in equal parts bold, gruff, smooth, and cool. Straight from the old days, when expensive advertising told me smoking was cool. Um, actually, I, I want to get the unholy smokes. Smokes are deadly, you know. Because I do want to a see. A curse than any I ever met. Not to me wildest dreams could I rob so many lives. Tis gazing down the length of an infinite tobacco stick, inching ever closer to the end. An ancient shaman gifted me this pack after I rescued their child from the rabid coyotes. Guess they weren't <laughs> pleased with me good deed. Assume this visage and forever be reminded of the mortality of all. <laughs> I like how every item has like a little story with how they got it. How does a snake play basketball? Oh, you, just, you just dribble. It's kind of, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a full body motion though. It's very difficult. Let's see that new outfit. Because I want to see if it gives me like a, uh, a greaser kind of thing. Um, did it give me a new face paint? Oh, it did give me a new face paint. Well, that's, well, that's annoying. I wanted like a leather jacket and stuff like that. Also, um, ads are about to start if you need to adjust volume. If you stick around, I'll see you in a couple minutes. Oh, there's a lot that's unlocked with it. Alright, I don't I don't want a smoking actual person smoking for my character, so let's go back to let's go back to our party weekend party outfit. And let's see if anyone new is at the bar. Hey, a corpse flower. Barkeep, when'd you get this plant? Hey now, Sonny, we don't belong to nobody. Hang on, are you from the plant department? Who told you about the plant department? Am I not supposed to no know about the plant department? Is supposed to know about the plant department. <laughs> Forget what you heard. No such thing. Anyway. This is amazing. Hold on, where's the snake department? I want to see the snake department. Not gonna lose any sleep over that, Sonny. Hey, ain't nothing to tell. Who dares to hope in this day and age? Don't be such a killjoy. Don't poke your nose where it don't belong. Come on. Stop an old plan, why don't you? You can trust can me. We, can we really? Fine, I didn't want to know anyway. Never will. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, we're just kidding. It's not really that big of a deal anyway. Sonny, it's just a regular department. Not even that big, but it's very busy. Yeah, I mean, I presume the plant department has to deal with every single killed blade of grass and flower. Oh man, that's just gonna be absolutely brutal. about Da Vinci not crashing force 12 files totally 150 gigs at one yeah 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 that'll probably do it yeah <laughs> what 
did you think was happening? It's just plants. It's just plants all the way there down. There are a lot of plants. A lot. More than humans. Plants everywhere. Ah! Testing, testing. Sorry about that. Yeah, I accidentally, I accidentally bunked my uh, my microphone and it turned off. So I hope that wasn't, uh, hope that wasn't too bad on y'all's end. We're real tired of folks asking about the plant department. Is why we visit the den on Sundays. Lowers the chance of bothersome busybodies with annoying questions. Okay, so plants on Sundays. Who even gave you the idea the department is anything interesting? Eh, might be. Can't help it though. There's theater in my xylem. Xylem? I don't know my plant anatomy. I don't know what a anything xylem else? is. Seeing as we're now deep in the soil of inquiry. Not really. Not I'm off. In this lifetime, Sonny. Lifetime? Aren't we dead? <laughs> Alright, Siri, what you got for me? Hey, pleased to see you again. Ain't much happening here today. It's a slow Sunday. Anything I can get you? What's the deal with that plant? You mean my favorite pot chock full of plant department goodness? They usually drop in on Sundays due to an aversion of people, which is funny because they're really quite sociable. Personally, I love their quirky sense of humor. Hell yeah. What else is there to say? Plants are great. Sure. What's your poison? Gin and Tariff, Tax on the Beach, Bloody Gary, Corpse Reviver, Heat Death of the Universe Iced Coffee, Milk Please. These are great names. I'm going to go with a uh, Heat Death of the Universe coffee, please. Guaranteed to keep you energized until the last ever star in the universe blinks out of existence. Sweet and iced overtones of the mixture block out the bitter, earthy taste of coffee. Be honest, coffee really does taste like dirt. Hey! Yet, as the frozen cubes clink against your teeth, this whole endeavor feels distinguished and hip at the same time, just like the end of the universe. Au revoir, little reaper. Au revoir, mes chéris. Um, can't talk to Gus again, so I guess that's it. Alright, I guess that's it for the day.